adorable dogs up for adoption at seasfatrescue.org. We are here with Chrissy Metz. The movie is Breakthrough on Digital and DVD. Lance Bass uh, is, has a new line of mixers out called Jax. Yeah. And his documentary, The Boy Band Con, The Lou Perlman Story, is available now on YouTube Premium. Um, Lance, Eric B. wants to know, if you ever had a crush or a naughty dream about one of your NSYNC bandmates back in the day? Ugh, never. Ugh. Um, Chrissy, Eileen Ann texted, I adored your memoir. Looking back, is there anything you wish you left out or had put in? Um, you know, I think my stepfather really had a hard time with me coming, you know. I remember you saying Yeah, that. and that was something, but I don't know if I would regret it because I think it was important for me. It was part of your story. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Let's go to Patrick from Texas. Hey, Patrick, what's your question? Hey, Andy, I just want to say that my husband, Ryan, and I want to send you big love from Texas because, you know, things are bigger and better in Texas. Mm. And, <laughs> and my question is for the triple threat and fabulous Lance. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at my grandma. No, I thought it was, <laughs> with all due to you, no, I did think it was for Chrissy. No, I, did, no, me too. Okay. I did not. <laughs> Yeah, so he well, he's he's fantastic and such a talent. Okay. But anyway, I want to say, um, I want to ask, which NSYNC member took the longest to get back into the group for Ariana's Coachella performance? And do you think a Vegas residency is in the cards for you guys? Oh, uh, everyone agreed to do it immediately. You know, when Ariana Grande calls and says, "Hey, will you?" Perform at Coachella on the main stage. You say yes, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so that. Well, was I mean, but did she day. ask JT or not? Uh, yeah, everyone was asked, and Justin wanted to do it, but he was on tour. Got so, it. Uh, yeah, but okay. you know, he gave his blessing. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a good. Well, time. I mean, with all due, you don't need his blessing. I mean, well, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. But it was um, great because you know Ariana, she's you know a huge NSYNC fan, and her dream was to perform "Tearing Up My Heart," the original choreography. Wow. Which done. <laughs> right. And how long did it take to whip that together? Uh, well, we we. We were together about four or five days, but we learned in an hour. Like, really? It, like, it came Ooh. back so quickly. Um, eh. And what do you think about a Vegas residence? I mean, I mean, they, I mean, I would like that because right. I'm having babies next year, so right. it would be nice to be in one place. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if the guys would want a Vegas residency or like a stadium tour. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm I mean, up for both. Yeah. yeah, both. <laughs> but I think you do a tour followed by a residency. Yeah, I mean, Let's go to Terry from California. Hey, Terry, what's your question? Hi, Andy. My question is for Chrissy. Okay. Hey, Chrissy. What was the most nerve-wracking part of singing with Carrie Underwood on live TV? And can you tell us about anything about the new album you're working on? Yeah, so, okay, um, well, what people didn't know was uh, just 10 seconds before the curtain actually rose, um, my, my my inner ears, my monitors were oh, not God. attached to my pack. Oh, God. They were like six oh, seconds, and I was like, <laughs> I can't, what? No. And oh, here's the thing. No. They were like four seconds. I'm like, I no. Somebody help me! Three seconds and it's like, I'm like, they were like clipped it and as it's rising. Oh, and I was like, man. okay. Oh, so man. the fact that I was still standing at the end wow. was a victory for Honestly. me. So everything, I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, she was lovely and so were all the other ladies. And um, music, well, um, it's going to be country. So I'm really excited. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Taylor from Denver. Hey, Taylor, what's your question? Andy, hi. Hi. Uh, my question is for Lance. Lance, team and think for life. Okay. But um, my question <laughs> is, after working on your documentary, what was the most surprising thing that you learned about Lou Pearlman from another boy band member? Oh, oh, that's good. Um, you know, I learned a lot of things from doing this doc. Um, you know, we uncovered layers that I just I wasn't a part of because we left Lou early on in our career. Um, but talking to members of O Town and, and groups like that, um, I, I learned of a lot of different things that happened over in Germany that were a little shady, which we didn't even get to put into the doc because I didn't have strong facts behind it. Right. I just wanted as, as factual as possible. But I think the biggest uh, takeaway was learning about Lou's uh, childhood and, uh, and and covering that the reason why he became this this awful person. You what know, was he, the reason? Um, he was just the unpopular kid that everyone hated. And he said, I am going to grow up and you're, I'm going to own all of you. You know, and it, it started at wow. such an early age. Wow. Yeah. Reminds me of Donald Trump. He, I mean, <laughs> tr when you watch the doc, you will yeah, definitely. No, yeah. Very, very, Trump. very yeah, No, I mean, thing. I can't yeah. imagine he was such yeah. a popular guy. Let's go to Abby from Michigan. I mean. Hi. Hey. I have a 
question for Chrissy. Mm -hmm. How did you and your new boyfriend meet, and what's the most romantic thing he's done for you so far? Uh, What you know about my new boyfriend? uh, (laughs) Spill the tea. Let's do this. Um, The most romantic thing. How'd you meet? Uh, on Instagram, actually. You, uh, you know what? That's where that's where Ricky Martin met his husband. No, oh, yeah. you told me that. I think yep. that's like, a good way to do it. Yes. I mean, I'm my husband, we we met, and then he poked me on Facebook. There you go. <laughs> that's how, that's yeah. how we started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Better on Facebook to be poked, right? You know, for, uh, yeah. first. Yeah. Um, but oh, gosh, I mean, we'll keep that as a secret. Oh, uh, well, I'm yeah. happy for you. Yeah, thank you. I'm happy for you. Uh, it goes down in the DMs. Last call of the night, <laughs> Betsy from Arizona. Hey, Rance. Um, I just want to let you know that me and my friends Heather and Leslie have been huge fans of yours for a ridiculously long time. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering, since you're such good friends with her, what was your reaction to all the drama with Lisa Vanderpump on Beverly Hills this season? My God, I can't <laughs> believe it took this long to ask. I know, to ask about a Vanderpump. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't ask you at the beginning of the I show. Know. No, I mean, I, I saw this coming, uh, you know, for a long time. Um, and, yeah, I mean, she's she's had a very, very rough year. And, uh, unfortunately, it was just a, it's bad, bad timing, you know. And uh, and I feel I feel for her. Like, she really has gone through a hard time. So I don't blame her for taking a break right now. Uh, I think it's needed. Yeah, I hope she comes back. I hope so. I mean, I yeah. see that, of course. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Bethany came back. Everyone can come yeah, back. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want to thank Lance and Chrissy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.